like shit out here. Hello, everyone! Supercar Kid here, once again, with an update video. I've been meaning to make this update video for a while now. I took, my, my, my last video was in like May or something like that. And I've been meaning to make it. I got these lowering springs and I wanted to I wanted to wait until I installed the lowering springs to make an update video. They're still not installed and they're still sitting in my room. And they've been there since May. So whatever. I'll they get installed whenever they get installed, whatever. I am very happy to bring you this video though. Finally making an update. It's been a while. YouTube's been a while. Uh, so I'm just gonna talk about I guess you can say it's like a review or like a living with the 350Z. Maybe I'll, I'll just title it living with with the 350Z or something like that. And just tell you about the experiences, of which there have been many, I've had with this car. So let's start at that, let's start out negative. Let's go with all the problems, all the issues I've had with this car. And there is a good list. There's a good list. Let's start with gas. Gas has not been all that bad. Gas has not been killing me. Also, ignore the GPS. It's and a quarter it's, mile. Turn it, left onto it wants me to go road. another way. Uh, let me. Oh, let me explain. Okay. Yeah. So it wants me to go another way. Whatever. Let me explain what I'm. Um, where I'm going. So yesterday I was at a pool party and. Uh, at said pool party, I had a swim tr sw swim trunks and a towel, and, a mile, turn left and I forgot said swim trunks and towel at my friend's house, and my friend lives 30 minutes away. So I thought, what better time to make one of these videos, right? What better time? So now we got a good drive ahead of us, good time to talk, good time to talk on the way there, on the way back, whatever. Um, gas mileage has been all right. It's a V6, it's not too bad. Uh, on like a normal week, like driving miles. to my school and back and not driving anywhere else, uh, which I do need to do almost every single day. It's like 12 minutes if I'm speeding. 15 minutes is what it's supposed to be. <laughs> um, <laughs> that all depends who's in front of me. Yeah, so about 15 minutes of driving a day. That'll bring it to around half a tank a week, which is not that bad. Filling it up, uh, $10 per quarter tank, which is not too bad, sort of. It's moderate, it, it, it's really moderate. It's not, a, it's not a Chevy Cruze or a Prius, but it's also not like any V8 ever, except like the Charger, that's it. Gas mileage is okay. The quirks, the quirks I've had with this car. Let's, let's hit that list, shall we? Let's go over the one that absolutely grinds my gears. It's terrible. It's caused me so much pain and embarrassment, and I hate it. I've tried to fix it multiple times. It just sucks. It sucks, guys. Really. What it is, is the positive terminal on my battery, uh, like the wire, is stripped. When I got it, it was stripped. They had tightened it up, but it still wasn't super tight. I'll go back to when I found found out about this whole thing. So I was driving to Staples, just driving to get some poster board for a party I was having or something like that. Getting some simple poster board. Innocent. Totally innocent. And then this bombshell drops on my head when I go out to my car and it doesn't start. But not only does it not start, none of the electronics work. Not one. Not even my headlights. Nothing. Nothing is working whatsoever. So I, I call my brother. He comes with jumper cables and everything. We, and we're trying to figure out where the battery is. Because this was like the, after the first week of driving the car. So I didn't know it all that well. I find it under the hood. I open it up. And for some reason I didn't think. Why don't I look at the battery before I call him. To really see what's going on. Of course I didn't do that, so I wasted like 20 minutes of my life just sitting there. When I when I look at it and see that the positive uh, wire came off, the ring came off of the battery. And I was like, what the hell, why? So then I just kind of put it back on, started up the car, and I was good. I was good, I was fine. Then it happened again at school. Come out at the end of the day, 
and everything just shuts off. Doesn't turn on. I had to get this dude to help me out, and kind of became friends after that. But whatever. <laughs> yeah. So my 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 broken car made me a friend. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I I had to do a bunch of temporary fixes. So what I would do is I I keep a hammer and pliers in my in my glove compartment, and in there I go to Home Depot and I get these like forty something cent. Um, plug adapters like it's like a three prong to a two prong plug adapter what I do is I use the pliers and I rip out a prong and I keep like a bunch of those prongs right in there and I so I rip out a prong and I uh, use the pliers to kind of hold it steady I kind of jam it into the uh, Oh, wait a second, wait a second. Over here, this house has a Fisker Karma and an NSX under the same garage, and it's closed. It's closed. Fuck my life! Anyways. <laughs> um, I just kind of jam it in there. I use the hammer, hammer it in, stays good for a while, stays fine. And eventually one day, it shakes out again. And then there I am in a parking lot, or preferably at my house. Most times it has been at my house. And I gotta fix it again. Oh, yeah, there's a chicken truck in front of me, by the way. Going 30 and a 45. Yeah. It can be a little embarrassing opening up the hood of your sports car in front of people. And they're like, ha, I should have bought a Camry, you little bitch. And all that shit. But then I'm just like, but revs, though. V6. I shouldn't brag about a V6, but it's awesome. Z though, Z though, okay? They don't know what it's like to be a Z boy. Being a Z boy is the greatest thing ever. Now let's think, what other quirks? Oh, there's the leak over here. That's still over there. That is still over there. Oh, I just remembered something. I wanted to talk about um, the other videos that I made. I'll talk about that at the end. There's a squeaking sound. When I'm going over bumps, it's probably a joint, a, a little bit of a rusty joint back there somewhere. Maybe even a bad bushing, and that's about it. Well, actually, no, there shouldn't be a bad bushing. Because when I got the car, they told me, Oh, yeah, we replaced all the bushings and your brake pads. Even though my brake pads squeaked, they were brand new, and they were squeaky. Like, what the, uh, what the hell, man? You don't give someone a broken bike with a flat tire and no handlebars. Even though that's not the equivalent, but fuck it, whatever. So, of all the quirks, that's really about it. I mean, there's a bit of a weird smell, but I got used to it. And I've actually come to enjoy it. Uh, what are the great things that have happened to me since I got this car? One of the best things, I'm going to tell you, one of the best things about having a two-seater car is people, when you have one person with you, people literally can't ask you for rides. It's amazing sometimes. They... They can't come up to me and say, hey, can you drive an extra like 20 miles to take me home? I'm not gonna pay you for gas money, but we're friends, right? No, can't do it. Only got two seats, man. Sorry, but <laughs> that's that's awesome. It's so great. So good, so great, so good. But <laughs> now there also are drawbacks to seats. There have been times where I've had to squeeze next person in here very short trips like a mile at most on non busy roads that's it um, nothing too like crazy now let's talk about the raw driving aspects of the vehicle and all that British shit I don't know maybe I'll do some specs or something so specs uh, 287 horsepower 275 pound-feet of torque or is it foot-pounds I forget um, 3,816 pounds. It might be 866, something like that. I think it is 816. 3,816 of them LBs on this car. Way too heavy for this car. Way, way too heavy. It needs a diet. Uh, can I afford the meal plan? No. So, it's, it's not gonna happen. Shifting. Amazing. Throttle response is absolutely instant. It, 
at least as far as I can tell. I've never driven these those crazy, you know, hyper sports cars. Best car I've driven, BMW M3. It's my dad's car. Best car I've ever driven. Like, most expensive car or whatever. So, I don't have a lot to compare to, honestly. I really don't. But, this is awesome, either way. I mean, really... If this car was faster, it would stack up with those high-performance sports cars, really. So, like, I'm talking, like, with the GTRs and the Ferraris and all that kind of stuff. I mean, put it on a diet, slap a turbo in there, and this car is a bona fide race car. Clutch, heavy as hell, but it, this clutch is all feeling. You got, You have to get used to it. There's really no no other way to say it. You have to get used to it. I can't tell you I have not stalled in traffic while paying attention. I have stalled in traffic. But that's because I had a friend talking my ear off. Or Actually, that was it. When I, when I first got the car, I stalled at a gas pump, like in that other video. And I stalled uh, on like a tiny hill. But that's because I was uh, trying to overdo it. And I overdid it. And that happened. Yeah, so learning the car, it takes some time, but once but once it's learnt, it's learnt, man, it's learnt. Okay, safe. Continue on Pennsylvania 23 East, four and a half miles. One and a half miles, turn right onto Federal. And that was 81! Alright, I'm not gonna do, do that ever again. <laughs> This, th right this street is absolute road. cop bait. I'm not ever doing that again. I'm just coasting now. So let's let's talk about the speed, the feeling. Oh my God, this car is an animal. Holy crap. Every person who's been in this car, they get straight up scared. I'm driving normally and they're getting scared. It scares, oh, it actually doesn't scare me anymore. When I first drove it, it scared the shit out of me. But not anymore. This car is a freaking beast, I'm telling you. It just, oh my God, it's a rocket. It's such a rocket. I just wish it was like a thousand pounds lighter. Then it would be even more of a rocket, man. Oh my goodness. For a $10,000 vehicle, this is freaking fast. I could make this into a drift car. Wouldn't even need to put bolt-ons on it because it's that fast. I wouldn't need a turbo or anything. This thing is amazing. Acceleration. Turn right onto is Federal Road. Crazy. Then turn it's left instant. onto US what? 322. Where am I going? What, did this just turn into another? Power is crazy. It is. Uh, it's unlike anything you will ever experience unless you have a lot of money. Pretty much. Unless you have a lot of money. Continue on you US 322 else. East for three miles. Uncanny. It's handling. Some people say there's a lot of body roll. I don't feel it in this car. I really don't. I mean, maybe I'm just not looking for the right thing or I don't turn hard enough to feel body roll. Maybe that's probably it, actually. Yeah, I don't I don't feel the body roll, man. Amish people over there. The horse and buggy. <laughs> Welcome to Pennsylvania. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't feel any body roll or anything. It feels smooth. It feels nice grips every corner grips it like uh i don't want to make a nasty analogy like uh like a baby grips its no uh like like a baby grips its mommy's thumb okay that's how well this thing grips the roads all right it's fantastic fantastic <laughs> but let's talk about what i'm what i've done to the car and what i plan to do to this car so, uh, what I've done to the car so far is just the exhaust system, I have the springs, I'll be installing those soon enough, and then, um, that's really it. I put in some LED lights on the interior, and that's about as far as I've gone. I want to get a carbon fiber shift knob, because I hate the metal on top of this thing. Uh, oh, pretty much any Z owner will tell you, whenever it's a hot day and the sun is shining inside the car, Unless you have a leather interior, the car is stuffy and hot, but nothing is like burning your skin. Like you can sit down and you're fine. But once you put your hand on the shift knob and this little metal piece on it, it just heats up and it's so hot. 
it just burns your hands. So then you're shifting with your hands like this. I call it dinosaur shifting because it's like three fingers and you're like doing this with it. You're <laughs> and you're going like that to shift and it's kind of funny looking. Well, actually, you know, it burns a little bit because the steering wheel is the only leather right thing on inside of this street, whole car. Nothing is leather in here. So that gets a little hot. So now let's talk about what I plan to do with this car and the future and things of that nature. Uh, right now, I do not have a job or things of that nature. There's a reason for it. I absolutely can't tell you to what that is, but there's a reason for it. I can tell you I am trying other things that will hopefully yield great profits in the future. Uh, I'll, I'll make a whole video on that, but if you don't know, I have I have three companies. One is official, one has not made a dime, and one has Continue made a little on bit US of money. 322. I'll make a whole other video on that if you guys actually care. If I actually get views or, you know, whatever. Oh, whoops, I just, went, I just downshifted from fifth to fourth by accident. <laughs> There's going to be a cool little, like, mini-series I'm going to be doing about inventing. And, and, and I'll be making an invention in front of your very eyes. Road, you don't know, I am an inventor. I have three patents pending. I'm not successful in any way, shape, or form. I just have patents pending right now. I'm trying to sell them and stuff like that. I mean, what can I really say? Oh, it smells like shit out here. It smells like nachos and shit. God. So yes, I am an inventor. I love to invent. Turn I love right to think. I want to help the world with my inventions. I'm, I'm a senior in high school now. I'm going to be going to college for engineering, hopefully. I'll tell you guys all about my inventions later, and my companies later. If anyone actually cares, I'll let you guys know. Uh, maybe get some of you in on it too. Let me just address the two other videos, or three other videos. First video, uh, I mean, what can I say? It was me getting the car. There was actually a lot in the background, like a lot more things behind it that I didn't mention, but there were two personal to mention in a video like that. Also, they have tons of views, which I'm really surprised, at least for me, it's tons of views. I've never had that many views on a video before. Uh, so thank you, I guess. Thank you very much for that. So, the first drive video, oh my god, the first drive video, you guys tore me apart, Jesus Christ, have some chill, ah, oh my god, you guys are crazy, I was being told all this stuff like, learn how to do this, learn how to do that, you suck, you shouldn't even have that car, oh my god, what an idiot, it was my first drive, nigga, chill, barely drove manual, ever, in my life. The only manual car I drove is a high-powered M3. That doesn't necessarily translate very well. <laughs> so give me a break. Please, senor, please. Then there is the exhaust video. That is like, everyone is literally 50-50. Like, last time I looked at the likes, it was like 100 dislikes, 100... One, no, 100 likes, 103 dislikes or something like that. Like People are 50-50 on that. It was mainly just to be funny and to get some attention to my channel. Don't think I'm trying to spread false information because honestly, if you have two cents to your mind or whatever, if you have, if, if you have sense, whatever, fuck, if you have sense, you would know that that's probably not necessary to do in the first place and it's not. It's just fun. It was just really fun to cut shit up. And <laughs> and I guess I did make it semi-serious. I don't know why I made it semi-serious though. Like, why? Like, I added that little part where it was like later on in the day I like went back and like made an extra little bit with like one extra tip. And thinking back on it, I'm like, why did I do that in the first place? Why? I don't know. Whatever, I, I don't really care. <laughs> It was just fun. It was fun as hell to do. It was so much fun to make and to do all that. 
and I loved every second of it. Car has been great, treating me great. It's made me happier and happier every single day. If you read the description of the first video, you know that I was suffering from some depression issues. I mean, it's not chronic or clinical or anything like that. It was there. It was badish. Pretty bad. Uh, am I over it? No. No, it's just new shit just built up. And you guys will learn about that one day. Oh, here's one thing I can also talk about. How have people reacted to me getting this car? Very well. <laughs> it, it, it makes me smile every day. Like, some people, they won't even know me and they'll just know me as the kid on Instagram who has the really nice car. Especially in school, people, you know, I'm not like a super, oh, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm not popular, but I'm not like crazy popular. Like I'm not like like the coolest Continue kid. On in I and shit like North that. For seven mile. People do know me as the kid with the nicest car in school because I do have the nicest car in school. That's it's, it's, it's just a cool it's just a cool thing to know. Like I have the nicest car in school. Hey, that's awesome. You know, it's it's, it's just fun. It's just fun, and people have come up to me in school. Um. Being like, hey, you're the guy who drives the the 370Z, right? Like, oh, actually, it's a 350Z. And it's like, oh, okay. My my principal wants to put a big school logo on my hood uh, and have me drive it around. I mean, if he pays me, <laughs> I'm gonna do it. But he's probably not gonna pay me anyway. So whatever. The best reactions are from little kids. Oh my goodness, they make my heart melt. It's just it's just the funniest the funniest thing. I'll be driving um, just you know along somewhere pulling up to a stoplight. This happened uh, the, the other day in fact. I pull up to a stoplight and this kid is just sticking his head out the window with his mouth again just like looking at my car yeah, and, and it's just like I may, I may have just inspired that kid to do something with his life right there. I mean, I haven't done anything with my life yet. I'm working on that. I'm just saying that, you know, it can, I guess it can inspire people and stuff like that. Not, not inspire you that much, but moderately inspire, I, I suppose. Or just inspire you to like cars, you know, not like for money or for success, just to like cars. Do I get the ladies with this car? No. No, I don't. Do I get the little boy? No, no, no. No. Do I get attention in general? Yes, people look at it all the time. Is it because it's a 350Z though? No. It's because it's bright yellow and loud as fuck. That's why it gets attention. The color's loud and the exhaust is loud. That's why it turns heads because you can't help. Cop, cop, I see you. Oh, he, he just pulled someone over. I'm just gonna slow down to a little crawl at 65, right? Wait, just go. How you doing? Hey, good, good. I've been trying to be amazing to it. It is dirty as hell, but I've been loving it. I would not trade this in for anything else except a Jaguar XJS in very good working condition or a Mitsubishi Eclipse GSX also in very good working condition. Those are the only two cars I would ever trade this car for. That's it, nothing else. So, thank you all for watching this video. Uh, I guess if you want to follow my Instagram, it's just supercar double underscore kid. 
um, subscribe if you want. I honestly don't give a shit. I'm just making these videos for fun, man. I really am. So yeah, subscribe if you want. Like if you enjoyed. Dislike if you hated it. Dislike if you enjoyed. Fuck it, whatever. Guys, have fun with your lives. Have fun with your lives. Try to enjoy life as best as you can. Because uh, one day you won't be enjoying life and you'll look back on the life you weren't enjoying and you'll be like, fuck, why wasn't I enjoying life then? Well, I, because I'm not enjoying it anymore. Enjoy life as much as you possibly can in whatever way you, you do. That does not involve crime. Don't be a criminal. Alright, I'm just going to sign out. I've been Johnny Allen, a.k.a. Supercar Kid. Have a nice day, life, week, month, whatever, hour, nice minutes. Hope you enjoy, blah, 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 and I'm done with that stream!